What's going on guys? Welcome back to your channel. All right, man. So uh, we're gonna dive into it, man. So we're working on the Lightning, the red one. Um, I'm Project Gabby. So I'm gonna show you guys what, what I'm working with right now. I just got off work, it's around six. So I just came from, from work straight over here and started working on the truck. So I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at and Mandel's welding a turbo kit on one of the, on a GMC Sierra. It's, if you guys been part on, on my channel for a long time, you guys go to the beginning of the videos and it should be there. Runs around 630 horsepower to the rear wheels and he's building a new turbo kit on that, but I'll get you some pictures of that maybe on next week. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with this Lightning guys, so. All right guys, so here's where I'm at. We already got one of the spindles in. Um, new brake rotors, like I said. New bearings, seals. Um, and there's the other, the old one. So now I'm just gonna remove the little little dust cap, get it off, get the bolt, well the nut, and the little shim that um, the little shim that goes around it, so the nut won't come off loose. So I'm gonna do that, guys, and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the process. I'm putting the new bearings in them and all that stuff. Also, I'm just gonna say it now. Um, you know the little the new uh, bearings come with a little cover, right? New little sleeve up here, but we don't need it. Because these new brake rotors, I'm just gonna put it up here. These new brake rotors already have them. If you could see them in there. So all I gotta do is just squeeze them up. So these just go right up in there. So that's how they go. So you don't need them. Then you got your seal. Boom, goes right in there. Same goes for the for the one in front. But that's when I'll show you if you guys can see them. There's a little sleeve. So you don't need the one that comes here. So just put them in there. And that's it. Put the washer, put the nut, torque it at 12 pounds first. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the process. So um, I'm gonna get all the other stuff I need, and we'll start uh, putting it back in. All right, guys. So here I am working in the back of my truck. This is my work truck. So uh, I already got the, the the back bearing in. I like to grease them a lot. I use uh, um, high temp temperature. This is the one we use for for our uh, units, for our compressors, for our bearings that run. 24-7, 360 days out of the year, non-stop. So this thing works amazing. It's blue. So I like to put a lot of it. So whenever I'm, what is your little word? Here it is. So whenever I'm gonna grease them out, I just don't just grease the sides and all that stuff, no. I grab a bunch and I start stacking it in, 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 stacking it in until it comes out through this side. You gotta stack them, stack them, stack them, stack them, roll them, roll them, keep on stacking them, stacking them until the air comes out. Cause sometimes you hear some pops around them so i like to get them full grease man because these things are going to go in there and i want them to be performing 100 percent good so i like my to do my job one time and perfect so that's that's me so now i set the the bearing in and i start i start uh putting more grease on it on the sides all over the sides and stack it and stack it and stack it because once i get the 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 little seal on the back end, it's not coming back off. So that's going to keep more uh, grease in there for longevity. So that's what I do, guys. So I'm going to put this in once I get it in there because I got my rubber mallet on my truck. So I'm going to get it and start hitting it even and get it in there. So that's what I do, guys. We'll be back once I start doing the rest. All right, guys. So we're back. I already got the bearings, the back bearing in like you guys saw. Um, the seal now. I, I put in the new rotor in and strapped the new bearing that goes around it. Like I said, greased it all, greased it all, all over and had to tap it with a little socket to get it in there. It's like a little snug fit, so I had to tap it in there slowly and gently just to get in there because you don't want to break them. This is a stock one. It was kind of worn out, you guys can see, but that's a stock one. Oh shit, it's rolling away. But so it's all in. Um, these little, these little, uh, uh, covers you know they, they were for the little uh, pin that goes around them it doesn't fit because the new washers that come the new nuts that come with the the LMR kits the spindles they're wider so they don't fit see just look at how thick they are so they're they're, they're bigger and they don't fit so that is all it is the little uh, pin that goes in them so on these Whenever you do them, you gotta you gotta put it in right, and it's, you're gonna feel when it's gonna be all the way in, when it's all the way in. So, 
spins freely. See? So when you do them, you gotta torque them at 13 pounds. So you gotta snug it in with your hand. Grab your torque wrench. I have my torque wrench right here, I already torqued it. And you go to 13 pounds. Click. So one click, you wanna make sure you get another one in. Another click, that's it, just to make sure. So then you spin it, All right? So you spin it, you spin it for a little bit, like maybe a couple of turns. And once it stops, you go to 30 pounds on your torque wrench. You go to 30 pounds until it clicks. Once it clicks, click it once, click it again, just to make sure. Then you're gonna wanna come half a turn back, loosen it up half a turn back. Once, it, once it's a little bit loose, just hand tie it again and put your pin in there and you're good to go. I also cleaned the center, the brake center. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's, well, but I did clean it. The inside, the inside part that reads, that goes to the little gears there. Looks like gears, but the thing that reads the brakes. So I cleaned that too with brake, brake cleaner. So now I'm just gonna get everything tied up and I'll do a time lapse on the other side so you guys can see what's up. Alright guys, so you guys seen on the uh, on the time lapse I did, I had a little issues because there's a lot of rust on these on, on, on the nuts, so I had a little issues getting it off. But everything's in, the new spindles in, the new brakes, the new rotor, the new bearings, the new seals on the back. So I'm still gonna put the cap, fill it up with grease, but I'm gonna show you guys this is the important part: torquing it. So the first thing you do, you're gonna torque it 13 pounds. So it's very gentle. Put your torque wrench to 13 pounds. There it is. One more time, confirm, that's it. 30, all right, so you get it, and you spin it. Spin it, it's gonna be that kind of hard. All right, so then you go 30 pounds. So you're gonna put it in 30 pounds. And you gotta roll it for a little bit, let it settle. Gotta roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and there we go. One more, there we go. Now you gotta come back half a turn, but I don't use this one because you'll fuck up your torque wrench. Let's use my regular one. After turn back, you're gonna come. Once you do 30, 30 pounds of torque. I'm gonna center this out. And you're gonna come half a turn back. Then we're gonna spin it. We're gonna spin it and spin it. And there we go. We're right up the money. So, ready to roll. New bearings. Now I'm just gonna get some grease, get the dust cup uh, filled up, grease it up in there, and we're good. 
All right, guys, so we're back. Everything's back on. The dust cap is back on, full of grease. Everything's tight, smooth as butter. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to a little uh, little hint for you guys. Whenever you guys are gonna do a drop on an F-150, uh, if you're gonna go with the upper lower control arms, it depends how low you're gonna go. On this one, just the spindles, two inch drop. I think it's gonna be a two four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know something. So this is your your rod end to turn right your steering so i'm gonna put mine to grab the phone all right so most of the people they're gonna come up here they're gonna try to put it on and it's just gonna get there then you're gonna be you're gonna try to be hammering it on it and and you're just gonna be fucking it up you're gonna fuck up your ball joint so most people don't know on these you just gotta see how your uh your arms, your, your little, your uh, steering control arm, it's right up here. It, there's no way it's gonna come, uh, stay in there. So these, you gotta flip them around, they go under here. So I'll show you guys in a bit, I'm gonna flip this one around, and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so, I was saying, you gotta lose up your nut, flip it. This thing's gonna be flipped. So you gotta loosen it up a little bit more. Get it able to keep flipping. So, see, goes in perfect on the bottom. You always gotta check that. See the clearance now? Now we had it the other way. Look at the clearance on top. There's no way it's gonna work. So, you just gotta uh, keep an eye on that. I, I don't know the, about the rest of the trucks, the newer models, I don't know about those. I haven't worked on those. I just do my truck, Lightnings, and my mom's expedition and other vehicles. I've done, I've done some Chevy too, but on the forks, gotta keep an eye on that. Flip it. There we go. So I'm gonna put back the nut, and we'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. So we're gonna call it a night. It's night outside, as you guys, you guys can see in the back. So we're gonna come back tomorrow, finish the back, but. Stay tuned for that, guys.